Hello, 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 and welcome to the hmm server. Um, named aptly because we don't actually know what we're gonna call it just yet. Um, <laughs> long story short, uh, it's a new server, <laughs> and uh, we don't really even know each other very well yet. And I just logged in, and it was nighttime, so I thought I would just kind of hang out here and survey the area. And it's cold up here. So uh, I'm going to head on down now that the sun is coming up, warming things up, and uh, see if I can't get a little little cobblestone and chop down a tree or something. I wonder if I can make that jump. Hmm. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Let's just go over here. Some nice spruce trees over here. So, yeah, I wanted to join a server and get a new series started. Um, we've had some problems, my wife and I, with... Uh, with our other series, primarily with her laptop, and we've actually moved twice in the last couple of months. We moved to stay with my parents down in uh, Virginia Peninsula, and then we moved again to be closer to where I now work on, or in Virginia Beach, rather, on Virginia, yeah, on Virginia Beach. I'm, I'm actually working directly on the oceanfront. I have to come home after sitting at a sand desk every day, and it's been lots of fun so far. So, yeah. Sandy Beach. No, not really. I actually work in uh, western Virginia Beach. The western area of Virginia Beach, which actually has no beaches. But, <laughs> aside from that, it's a, it's a great job, and we're settling in nicely. So, it's time to get back started on some of these videos here. And, uh, once... Once my uh, lovely wife's laptop uh, can be made to behave with Minecraft, which will hopefully hopefully work out nicely with this latest version of Optifine. I'm not actually on the latest myself, but I soon will be. And I'm going to need some dirt, because it's just rude to leave leaves and trees and logs lying around. But, um, yeah, hopefully that'll sort out the problems that she's been having with her laptop and we can get started. I've done a lot of work, uh, in the meantime, uh, getting us ready for just about anything. So we're gonna hopefully get started really soon, uh, on our first, uh, fantasy build. But in the meantime, I am going to be working with some guys here on the server, and they're really from all over the place. Some of us will be recording, some of us will not be, some of us might be. <laughs> and um, we're going to get a spawn village set up. We're each going to build a, a house or two. And um, we are going to do, uh, do a bunch of things together. You know, we're going to go to the nether for the first time together and uh, fight the ender dragon and the wither, first wither, presumably, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, just try and do everything as much as possible as a community while allowing for everybody to have their own little personal style. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So here's hoping, uh, here's hoping we get off to a good start here. I have a few ideas on things that I would like to do. Um, just around the spawn area. I'm not really sure how much I want to do, how much of it I want to do around the spawn area and how much of it is my own personal uh, style and build ideas just kind of leaking over. I uh, just kind of, I don't know, I, I, I get all these ideas and there's absolutely no chance that I have enough time to do any of them. I mean, we've got four kids, so I don't get much, much, all that much of a chance to, to do a lot on here to begin with. But, you know, I mean, this constant streams of ideas, and uh, half of them I throw away, because either they are a pirate ship, or <laughs> something, uh, something equally uh, as overdone, or it's just something that I'm, I'm never going to be able to finish, and I, I don't like not finishing what I start. I really, really don't like starting on something and uh, just moving on to something else permanently. I'll move on to something else for a little while to, to give myself a chance to get a fresh pros uh, blah, 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 fresh prospect 
are mining for coal and gold here, um, a fresh perspective on uh, what's going on and, and what I'm doing with it. Uh, maybe something's not quite working out right. There's a desert over here. Let me see. I'm sure somebody else has already raided any, any nearby villages or temples, but let's take a look anyway. Um, get a fresh perspective on it and make sure that, you know, what I'm doing uh, two days or two weeks later actually still makes sense and it, I'm not just kind of answering my own questions about what I'm doing with randomness, just kind of solving a problem with something so that it's solved. And then the end result, of course, is that it's ugly. <laughs> it doesn't really look right, doesn't really feel right, and uh, yeah, so I I, I usually will swap back and forth between a few projects. I will try to, to contain that somewhat on here because I don't want to give the impression that I never, uh, that I just keep, you know, that, that I'm not going to finish a project because it's very easy once you, when you start on something and it's not quite going the way you want to, you just kind of get uh, a little bit bored, and the uh, the build or the machine or something, whatever it happens to be, whether it's a redstone contraption or a uh, an artistic sort of build, it's very easy to leave it, find something else that you're enjoying, and then basically not come back to it for a really long time. And it, especially with a spawn village, you just you can't, you don't want to leave it just kind of lie for any real length of time. Um, because other people are other people are going to have to see it, and other people are going to be expecting, hey, you know, if that that automated farm never gets done, is somebody else going to build one? Or if that building is just going to be left half completed, is that what it's supposed to look like? And if so, what are you what are you what are you trying to go for here? <laughs> because that's hideous. So let's see if we can find some. Oh, I want to grab some cacti. Cactus, cactus blocks. Uh, start farming things, but where were those reeds I just saw? There they are. Yeah, let's just grab the top. What's is that? Night? No. Did did that show up in the? What the? Is it just me or did the sky go kind of purple there for a second? That's a little strange. Let's grab some reeds here, because you know I can't help myself, and we'll let the rest grow back. Come on, chickens. I am sprinting way too much. Come on. There's got to be some animals around here somewhere. Ooh. Did I just see? I saw a piggy. Eee, piggy, 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 piggy. I just want to cuddle. Yeah, I do, because you're so cute. Aw, uh, here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, oh, oh. Why do I always hurt the ones that are closest to me? Let's see if we can find another. We'll try again. We'll try and improve ourselves. We'll try and be kinder. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, I am soon going to lose the ability to sprint. I can't help myself, though. I just want to sprint. I, I I just hate moving slow. I've been uh I've been collecting some horses and experimenting with horse breeding. Ooh. I am gonna have to go down there. <laughs> um and oh my goodness, with a I, I don't want to spoil too much about the other series, but let's just say I am used to moving at faster speeds. A lot faster. And, uh, <laughs> it gets really, really addictive. I'm going to have to stop and cook some of this really quick here. And I'm going to use wood because I hate wasting an entire thing of coal on just a few. Let me see where I'm at here. 307. That's about 300, 300 then. That's where... Oh. Well, I've got a screenshot now just in case. <laughs> Come on. I needs me some food. Tell you what, I am going to get some food and get set up, and then I will uh, check back with you, and we'll see. I don't 
it doesn't look like anybody's done anything with this area. Maybe everybody's caving or something. So that would probably be the smart place to start. Um, I don't know. I'd probably start a farm soon, but maybe they set up somewhere else. So I will take a look around and get some uh, get some food going, and I will see you in a minute. And welcome back to my first night on the server, and I've got a zombie conga line going here. <laughs> I, uh, I, I took off, I bolted through the woods, found some cows, got some steak cooking here, and, uh, yeah, the zombies found me. As expected. <laughs> I feel like I need some music here. <laughs> I am not looking forward to jumping down. <laughs> I need some people to stay to start regenerating health again. Thank God for natural regeneration. <laughs> but, uh, this is the, the zombie, this whole zombie uh, respawning thing is this social zombies. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I'm tempted to switch away from the sword and just punch them so I can see how many I can get out of here. I might just wait out here all night. You know what? I think I will. I will sit out here all night punching zombies, and I will see you in the morning. Alright, welcome back to the morning. Oh! That was close. <laughs> it's been an eventful night. Um, I am obviously not still in the tree. Uh, I broke a set of leaves that they were pathing up around, and they stopped pathing. Yikes. Stopped pathing, so I changed my mind, put something back there, and then everything went into speed mode. This, like the server was trying to make up for lost time while the zombies had been trying to make up their minds on uh, how to get to me. So, uh, they, uh, they were pretty, uh, pretty vicious, <laughs> and they wound up hitting me a few times and knocking me out of the tree. So, I wound up just taking off, because at that point there were about 50 of them. I saved a screenshot. It was pretty freaking crazy, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. There was even one in gold armor. I'm really sad that I didn't get a chance to, to kill him and find out if he was going to drop some armor for me. But, um, such is life, and, uh, Hopefully I'll get a chance to try that again. <laughs> Something else. And it probably won't feel the same, though, because it'll be either expected or rigged, but that was that was fun. So, I do have some food, and uh, I haven't really seen a whole lot of any... Oh, skeleton. Come on, come up here. You want to do something? You come to me. Yeah, I haven't really seen anyone else... Uh, it might have something to do with me running around a lot. <laughs> and, and, oh wait, what's this? No. No. I didn't see anybody near spawn. I just heard somebody was doing some sort of town hall. Let's see if we can get this guy. I can use some bones. I have a bone to pick with him. Ooh, and I got a bow. Did I pick it up? Yes. Not in the greatest of shape, but hey, anything at this point is a bonus. So, not a bad first night. I didn't die. That's always nice. <laughs> but, um, could have gone smoother. So, I am going to resume looking around, this time without, you know, being in mortal peril, and having the creepers attack me and zombie hordes at. Oh, I hate that bug. Zombie hordes after me. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see, uh, we'll see if I can find anything here. Get some exploration in and, uh, see if I can find somebody else. <laughs> so, I will be back. Alright, well, welcome back, and I am in a hole. <laughs> I did find some food, did not find some players, uh, did get chased by some creatures, and, uh, they're outside right now, just waiting for me to come out and play. <clears throat> I may actually... No, you know what? I'm not going to do that. 
I'm not going to go ahead and play it because then they're just going to spawn down in the caves below me and make the next little caving quite a bit more interesting than it needs to be. So I'm going to grab this iron here, which is a very fortunate find. I always like to clean everything out. I won't do it on video, but <laughs> I always like to clean everything out. Coal, lapis, anything and everything, no matter how useless it might seem. Um, just because you never know what diamonds might be hiding behind uh, whatever ore is there. Because when the caving algorithm... Uh, when the algorithms... Bleh, when my tongue is tied by my other tongue, <laughs> when the caves are generated by the terrain generating algorithm, it exposes the ores. Duh. When that happens, however, it doesn't account for ores of lesser value being tucked away behind ores of greater value. So if you really want to make sure you get everything that's supposedly exposed, you gotta make sure that you take out all the uh, stuff you don't really necessarily care about in addition to that. And yes, I include lapis in that. Not as an insult, just as a I don't use it very often side note. Nice, I did get it. I mean, you'd think I'd notice chopping down trees, but eh, I wasn't sure how much I had. So I grabbed some extra, and obviously I now have plenty. As well as some bones, not that I found a dog. But we might find some gravel and make some more arrows while I'm down here. So, I am going to poke around down here and see if this nice, lovely looking dark little hole has anything to offer. And I'm not going to do it on this episode because I'm already running longer than I'd like to. But, um, yeah, welcome to the server. And here we go. Geronimo!